Oh, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to episode number one of my Game of Thrones game. Let's play. I am really excited for this game because, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead, the TV show, and the video game, and the same people who made The Walking Dead video game are making the Game of Thrones video game. So, I think it's going to be a good time. I hope you guys are excited. I love these games where you make choices that affect the story mode, and it's it's a video game, but at the same time, it's like a movie. It's like a TV show, and I just love the Game of Thrones universe, so let's get it going. Oh, my boy, Lannister. Okay, begin episode one. There's a, it's it's another episonic series. We got Jon Snow. What did the dragon have a quote? That dragons can't talk. What are they talking about? So, uh, this is gonna be episode one of episode one. Let's begin. Love Game of Thrones. I can't wait till it comes back in April, I believe it. They always started like midweek of April for the last few years. For thousands of years, House Forrester has been loyal bannerman to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolfswood, they have harvested the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by the war, and the rival houses seek claim Forrester. What? I fuck the trout, the trout, the trout in the tower, the wolf got the fish and they all ran away. The trout he fucked all the trout in the tower. Another fall to pray. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by me headings, and I think comes to me. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by me headings, and all is happily. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, both breaker, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Oh, shit. Alright. Select and pick up the sword. I did Make it! Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. Oh, the graphics are great. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You will never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest... Don't be an arse! A squire. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him! He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, I'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? <laughs> Brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. I don't take orders from you. No, but you take orders from him. You idiot, you're his squire. I'll fetch him some wine. God damn it. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battle. <laughs> Fetch your coat. The night we celebrate. Turn up! <laughs> to Rob Stark, the king in the north! The, the king, king in the north! north! Tomorrow, 
We march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard! The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Ah! Death to the Lannisters! Winter is coming! It's gonna be awkward! Winter is coming! Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, well, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Bitches. You serve me well. Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. So I'm no longer a squire? As of tomorrow, no. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight, and I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. These squires ain't loyal. These squires ain't loyal. Fetch more wine. Scrub my armor. Clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. Oh, shut up, Bowen. He's so sad. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? The bacon. Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this. Which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Or <laughs> line around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Maybe if my uncle were cast on at House Forester, I'd feel different. How much further? Well, it's right over there. The twin stronghold of House Frey. We are playing on PC. I couldn't find it on the PlayStation 4. Of this game. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. What? What's wrong? What's gotten into you? You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush.
But what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? There's no need to fucking run. We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. fucked up. It got wrecked. Oh my god. Is this the red wedding? Am I supposed to press I, w I went up on my mouse. This is what I'm confused about. Ready, boys! Alright, that's Whoa. not gonna happen again. Shoot that one! That one! God damn I did it! I wish I was playing this on PlayStation, the superior platform. All right, I'm going to click W, I guess. I went up on my... I moved my mouse up. Okay, I'm going to try W. Ready, boys. Whoa. Shoot that one. Don't, stop shooting me. Oh, bitch. Hit stick. Oh, the Wolverine got saved my back. All right, it was W. Look out! Oh. Bitch, go around it. Oh. Did he really have to crawl under it? Oh no, I, I clicked off the game. If I don't watch Game of Thrones, will this be confusing? It's in the same universe, uh, but it's an entirely new story. Oh, get stompled, bitch. Stomple? Trample? Stomp? Good fucking riddance. They're fucking us all up. Got it. Did you find Roderick? Speak up, Garrett. He... he's gone, my lord. There was nothing I could do. Find a weapon. Quickly! Use the horse. But if you do watch 
watch Game of Thrones, so be like a backstory that you, you can appreciate. Not afraid, you fucking traitor! Go, my lord, while there's still time. I like how the arrow went straight through metal. My lord. Seven hells. You wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Well, the phrase says time to <gasps> You've been worse than wounded worse than that? Seems pretty bad. Guard this with your life. Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Well, the free you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. Can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will. My uncle my Lord. Duncan. All right. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go. Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters. Is that racist? <laughs> <laughs> He grabbed the fucking sword. We love the world of Frey. He just palmed that bitch. Woo. I love the intro to Game of Thrones. Let me know right now, Game of Thrones or Walking Dead. Or Breaking Bad. I like... I like zombies, so it's gonna be The Walking Dead for me, but Game of Thrones is right there. Oh, that's cool. A Breaking Bad game would be cool. Making meth simulator. <laughs> Iron from ice. All right, I think they did a really good job with that prelude. Should I be watching this if I haven't watched the show? Of course. This is just like... If you watch this show, you would get... Little... Jokes and little things, but... This is totally different from the show. Maybe it'd be better... To... To watch this before... You watch the show. Kill the pig. I thought I was a pig farmer. Lord. No, fuck. Crash. I hate when people t people talk to themselves. Like I'm talking to myself on the stream, but don't worry about that. I can't wait to Game of Thrones. This is hyping me up for Game of Thrones. I think we'll get some dragon action. Like the fight scenes in Game of Thrones are just so massive and awesome. That's father's car. God damn, all his all the people he loves are getting wrecked. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. I thought he said titties for this. And it may be coming. But at least still have his bacon. Oh no! You... That's 
That's not nice. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <coughs> Triple! <coughs> no. I'll have that sword, boy. You take my cock before you get this sword. Fuck you. Fuck you. Cunt. Uh, oh no. It can't be that easy. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. It was pretty pathetic. You really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Tomahawk up! Uh, tomahawk! <laughs> Bitch! Tomahawk! Those teeth are yellow as fuck. I guess they didn't have toothpaste back then. And, oh! I feel like... Oh no! I feel like this game's unrealistic. If you have that sword, you just get owned. Everybody with that sword so far has gotten wrecked. Oh. Mercy! Please! I beg of you! I, I have a family! They'll never survive without me! I have no quarrel with you! I was only following orders. Fuck your family. No, please. <laughs> Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. That much I promise. If I had the tomahawk style, I would have patriated his bitch ass. I know you guys wanted blood. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. Oh, she hid. She may hide really good. I tried to stop them. God damn it. I'll kill the men who did this. Why is everyone dying? I guess that's what me medieval times were like. Iron Wrath, stronghold of the forester. Dude walked all that way with a limp. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two Whitehill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. 
Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Oh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? What? Oh, it's a pussy. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Oh my god. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether oh. unprepared to lead. That wasn't sanitary. Oh. Uh, this might hurt a bit. No. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of Warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Oh man, this game is brutal so far, just like Game of Thrones. Am I gonna have a fucking limp the entire. The Ironwood Grove. Goddamn game. Can I see the fucking grove? It's a man's chair. That's a logo for Game of Thrones. It's a tree, I think. I, I, something about the medieval war. Like, the wars that go... in medieval times. I like it. I guess I'm supposed to talk to him. I don't want to... give him my sword. Let me just look at him. Just stare him. Stare at him. A little funky. Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Bitch, what else? I walked everywhere. Alright. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Unless I gotta walk over here. Touch the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. Oh, a painting. I didn't look at, I didn't see that before. Mm-hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire That mustache! Her. Gregor the Good. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh, look at that top, that axe! Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Call him Axer? Is that Stark? Roderick. Oh no, that's Roderick. He was Robert. our best warrior by far. They all look the same with their fucking beards. Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, 
I wonder if they'll bring her home. I wonder if the doctor's got to look at you crazy for talking to Why? yourself. To a painting. Never easy being a fourth-born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. All right. Got the... Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine. Really. Dude really wants to cut off my legs. What else do you want from me? Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone. What's your name? Someone which led to the names of someone's and. Ladies and gentlemen, we and have then, a well, donation. Here we are. Never mind. What? I said who's the new lord of the house? Not never mind. Thank you for the donation who that it didn't pop up. I gotta fix that really quick. I have a new little setup with the the thing down below and I apparently um apparently <laughs> there's one thing I missed uh on putting up and that was the uh, donation thing. So give me a second. Uh, as I fix this, should only take a few brief moments. Thank you guys for watching the Let's Play. We will be uh, doing the entire Let's Play eventually. Um, all right, we got that. Got that. Oh, that's that's um. Okay, it's there at least. Okay, we have having technical difficulties. There we go. All right, beautiful. Thank you for your... Let me see who it was. Give the proper shout-outs. We have a donation from Bareface Leo. Thank you, Bareface Leo. He inspired me to do YouTube. Good luck on your YouTube, buddy. Good luck. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed I'll to... admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester... Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Oh, Garrett, yeah. I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. Damn. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult. What's your name? Especially the it doesn't children. matter. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask. Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have What's your name? A sword. It doesn't matter. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. 
I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones who should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Some bullshit. That settles it then. Oh no! What? Right. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I was supposed to tell my uncle something. I was supposed to tell him a secret. What about the secret? Thank you guys for the donations. I didn't want to say anything during the Word cut up scene. To me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well-deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Looks like I've I could be in Game of Thrones. I've been waiting for that moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. 
From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the Wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. That makes no fucking sense. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Shaking the bacon and the anonymous 420 donation. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you for supporting the stream dream. Giving an online tip to your boy. Uh, I'm Garrett, glad you guys ensure my, my stuff enough to support me like that. It's very kind and very generous of you. Fuck it. Be safe. I don't got the awesome sword anymore. When am I shaving the beard? I'm going to be shaving it Wednesday on stream tomorrow. We're going to do a charity um, Movember little charity drive. It's going to be, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'll shave it like funny. Ethan? Look at this lesbian. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gareth. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. He let me ride one of his pigs once. It was fun. <laughs> he won't get hurt. He got hurt by those White Hill men. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? Damn! And he calls you a milksop. Shots fired. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Do you remember when we were younger? I'm a wizard. We all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, 
Just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Nice guys finish but left. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. The lord of a noble house can do a great many things. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> I wish that this game would follow, like What's the Lannisters the and stuff Lord like that. Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us, please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord. I would command Ethan to stay, with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Someone should tell him to leave us alone. Fine, if that's what's required of me. Very well then. I don't want to piss this guy off. Fuck you, gingers. I'm leaving you in the forest. Go play with the stick. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Cheeky bastard. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oath-breakers. Aye! And look where that got him! And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur! No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Bread and salt?
Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. But not fit to that it. That lad may be Lord of this... House. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> Dude just kept that shitting out of our entire house that I call him a craven. What the fuck's a craven? Dude owned me. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. How do the ravens go from one place to the... It doesn't make sense Your to me. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Cowardly? Craven? Coward? Okay. Ah. I'm a lady. I'm a fair lady. Coins. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Ethan made this for me. These characters talk to themselves too much. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Am I done looking at my treasure chest? You ever have a toy chest as a kid? That shit was awesome. Wonders made by man by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. I 
hope to see them all someday. It's crazy. The lords of the land. That's where landlord came from. The She's term. Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Oh my god, with her talking to herself. Grapes, very nutritious. Yeah, I do wish they followed the big houses. But, you know, th you can't always get what you want. I like the backstory, though. Like, getting... Just knowing more about... The universe. It troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, milady, but... Are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, milady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, milady. Of course, of course. This do needs a bath. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. This bitch needs to stop talking to me. I, Does he not know his I place? I heard them arguing about House Forrester. House Forrester? He's getting kind of creepy. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. The fuck out. Is that Lady Marjorie? You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. She's from the TV show, right? Oh, shit, they got From all the, the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. 
she was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She seemed happy saying that. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. You have very nice titties. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Lesbian threesome? Where's that option at? Can I put a cheat code? <gasps> it's the throne! It's little Lannister! You can do this. It's a little Lannister! Look at him! Little, 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 little Lannister! <gasps> ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. The girl is clever. She only meant... I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. Oh my god. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the North. If you would give her the chance to explain... Perhaps she can explain why the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe she didn't know which king she served. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Yes, your grace. Absolutely. I see. Despite the fact Roose Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. Yes, yes, yes. Clever girl. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? 
It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Do midgets get... I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Do midgets get drunk faster? Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? The I'm sure she Let would... the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of oh, course, Jesus. Your Grace. I like how there's gossip in the background. I'll walk you out. Oh shit. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I don't particularly like her. Yet you did your best to please. You'll do well here in King's Landing. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. I take pleasure in her. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. What are you suggesting? I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? No. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion. But it's a risk I cannot afford. I admire your discretion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I can't stop touching my beard. <laughs> Kick him for a field goal. I hate these interrogations. I get so nervous when they Mira, ask me questions. I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. Really? 
That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Uh. <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my family. Right. Of course. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! I want Sir Tyrion! Ron and... What are you doing? Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. What do you guys think? Do I ask for help? Or do I not ask for help? Look at that eye shadow. I need help with my eye shadow. Or eye makeup, eyelid makeup. Looks like I got a half black eye. Ask for help or do not ask for help. This is part of the reason why I love doing the stream on Twitch. I'll also be putting this on YouTube as well. Uh, so you can comment there. But I'm looking for uh, the live stream comments. Uh, it's kind of... Uh, a lot of people are saying ass now. A lot of people said ask. Okay, we're gonna ask for help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Oh, shit. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought 
If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Oh my god. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. I would never ask. 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 Very you, well. My lady. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh, this guy! Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Slow reactions. Oh my god. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> Like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further, how much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! Coco! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. Oh. We've wasted enough time already. Luckily, he turned off his wall hacks. Maybe this is that one guy from the show. Bloody hell! Jesus. I couldn't run, I had a limp. Remember the limp I had? 
would have been bad. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Judgment time! I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Miss. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone! Mercy, no. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. God damn you it. address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I want to give him mercy! Give us justice! I will decide. I like his haircut. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Off with his head! Please, my lord, my family depends on me. Take three fingers, send them to the... Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord... I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. 
Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? Disloyalty shouldn't be rewarded if others will take advantage of your mercy. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. I'm a good lord! Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Who do you guys choose? My uncle or the... The just brute guy with the scar on his face? This guy. Just look at him. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. He didn't sell himself too good. Let's see what this girl says. You're all worthless and weak. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told you her snitched. my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you, honey baby cakes. Go back in this stable. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't that, 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 afford that. any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. 
Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Roiland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. So it depends if the king's... If the king protects me... When I was a girl, I asked for the redhead's help. If they protect me, then I'll be fine. I'll be good. I think I'll take my uncle, but if we're at war, I want to take this guy. Let's see what young... Do it like you Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. No. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah! Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad. You can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. What do you name your swords? My sword's name is Peter. I'm not sure yet. Let's talk to this guy. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Uh-oh! Who am I gonna pick? I don't know. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Mommy? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. 
Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. Yes, this Let's is why it. blood! You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Bloodshed! You're not the Sentinel. Bitch. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will fight! My Sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're Amen, likely Amen. to get us all killed. Get out. Your father would not approve, my lord. Here's about the beast of blood! Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. And we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. I don't fuck around. I'm gonna melt this there motherfucking snow. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing. But there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. 
and we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things, and that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. What do you guys think? Keep Malcolm here, or do we send him to Essos? I don't know if he's, if he, if he's got to be back in time. Malcolm could help right now, but, you know, I want my family here, I think. I think I want to send Malcolm to get him. What do you guys think in the chat? Or let me know what you guys think in the YouTube comments if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching to this point. We're going to do every episode as just one big video. Uh, so I think that would be great. Okay, the chat is saying send. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. It's one last man, though. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. The Council has decided we're sending them. There's about to be a fight. Oh, come on, don't cut to this bitch. Ah. I don't want to be taking keys. What is it? No, 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 no. I don't want any of this stuff. I'm gonna get in trouble. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know I will be here for you if you ever... This don't seem good. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed, and he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Oh, I allayed shit. his fear, for now, but it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. Mm. 
This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. I should have took that seal and wrote a note saying send help or uh, protection. Not the call, boy. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before about Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? I my can provide him with coal. by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. This guy is a little sketchy. <laughs> Did he just go? <laughs> All right, good. We're switching to the. Yeah, this is when I want to see what happens. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? Now oh, fuck him if he's hungry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Where's our men at? Something wrong with your gate? Yeah. I was well, expecting a little... You, the little lord. No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Where's all my Thank men? You, my lord. Drop it right on him. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. I thought we we're gonna have like 50 men at the gate. Huh. 
Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little law. You can't trust a Forester. They murdered our men. It was a Forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. Our men are dead. Yours lived. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal Bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. The foresters have been tending ironwood for thousands of years. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> Not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The Seven Hells he will. That's... Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? How did they let these Lord men Ramsay, in our gates? Please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. 
Well, <laughs> hopefully not just. What's your name? It doesn't matter. I never had a sister. Ozzy. Always wanted one. Leave my sister alone. Nice to see you back. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? Oh, no! No! What have you done? But no! I don't want the bold lord. Far too much trouble. Holy shit! Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no, no. Even though you did bend the knee. My son. I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him. If they give you any trouble. Uh, Brian. Uh, 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 Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mason quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Stop! Don't let him take go. me! You will not take Stop him! Don't help me! Ryan, please! No. No. Where the fuck's my army? Do something! Ethan? <laughs> God damn it, where's my army at? I've not tried the ginger beard, Mr. Ozzy. Next time on Game of Thrones. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching episode number one, Iron from Ice of the Game of Thrones game by Telltale Games. I appreciate all of you guys coming out and watching here today. It was a really good story. I got fucking murked. I wasn't him. I was a girl. The, like that's my main character. I didn't get. I, I don't know what happened. My army didn't show up. What the fuck was that about? Be sure to hit that follow button if you're over on Twitch, and if you're on YouTube, hit that like button, and maybe uh, come over to Twitch and give us a follow. We stream every single day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.